Do you know I crashed my car into grandma's tree? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know anything? That's any of what them? happened to the mini. <laughs> Oh, my God, that's what happened to the mini <laughs> that I bought you for your 18th birthday and, and I, never saw, I never saw it again. Oh, oh, you want to start it? Tough shit, I am. Hey, guys. Well, <laughs> okay, so if you didn't know already last week, that was an argument. So this week, I, Sophia Boo, am taking the reins. Taking the reins. Are you ready for this, Jamie? Oh, I'm ready. You're going to be in the back seat for this one. Game. I'm in the driving seat. <laughs> Who's next to you? Jack. <laughs> You're in the back. Can we just say, if you ever get in the car with Sophie, honestly, your life is at risk. You can't even drive. Like, what? Who, who gave you the horse you rode on in? <laughs> hey, no, he's that again. I thought we'd do a little ramble at the top. We don't just go straight into it. I'm going to say welcome to the Ninny Rose podcast. Is that not what you do? <laughs> no, no, <it> was. <laughs> Hey, we we have a little ramble at the top, and then we go. Do you know what? You're just so irritating. Every part of you deserves a smack. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize we were flirting at the top. <laughs> irritating and smack means flirting. Okay, guys, what is wrong with you? I'm allowed to do it like that, nice and abrupt. I'm not going to ramble. I'm not going to keep going on about emailing in and what our email is and how much we love you because you know we love you and it's quite boring that Jamie says it every single podcast. Mm. So firstly, I'd like to kick it off. <laughs> this is a great start to the episode. Wait, wait, let's do it again. No, no, let's not. Let's not. So firstly, so screaming. Loud okay, let me start again. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to kick it off what? by saying, it's like we're welcome, Sunday school. <laughs> welcome back to the podcast, Nearly Words Podcast. It's great to have you listening. <laughs> What's funny? I think this is a great... Each and every one of you, we are so grateful for you <laughs> listening. But, but before we get into it, yeah. because we're going to get into it today, I wanted to play you a little something, Jamie, that Jack, our producer, has kindly put together a little a little something that's never been shown on the podcast okay it was from last week mm -hmm. it was not aired and so we thought we would air some of wow last week's. oh i see what so hang on a second so i see what you've done here you guys have all been conspiring against me because i made you upset last episode and you stormed off so now it's no. payback is that what we're saying no it's, so before we even kick the podcast off it's gonna be payback payback's a bit Wow. Ready? Payback gonna taste good. It's just my own personal opinion. We could be wrong here. If we're not feeling in this zone to do it, there's no point doing it. Honestly, that's what I think. And it, it feels sort of that way, inclined. Um, do we think it's, you're sure it's gonna be all right to do? Look, I just don't know if it's gonna work today. So I just don't feel it's, it's you know, we can't do a podcast if we're upset with each other. Or you're upset with me. I'm not upset with you. So look, we can do it another time. <laughs> Maybe I'm not in the zone then. Um, I'm thinking we can do it on. Saturday morning? No. Um, okay. Okay, sorry, guys. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Revenge is sweet, Jack. Oh, my lord. Oh, yeah. Cut that out, didn't you? Conveniently. I didn't cut anything out. I'm now in charge of the edit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what software do you use to edit? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that, that is Jamie having, throwing his toys out the pram because a t one tear dropped down my face. <laughs> oh my God. One tear. Can we just, can we, I don't know, there's no point repeating what happened last week, but. Oh, well, everyone saw. Everyone's, everyone heard. Everyone saw, but then what was But they he, didn't hear that bit. What was even worse? They had a one-sided story. What was even worse is that I was really upset that you were upset. Oh, yeah. I was. I was really upset that you were upset last episode. It looked like that. I was. And then what happened was, is when we released the episode, I was downstairs in the house and I heard, no! <laughs> I was like, oh my fucking God, what have I done now? What have I done now? And I was like, ran upstairs and I was like, what is it? And you were like, you've left it! <laughs> and I was like, I was like, Sophie, I'm so sorry. I promise you, what do you want me to do? Do we delete it? What do you want me to do? No, no, it's all good. And actually, no, you were all so kind and sympathetic towards me. I got lots of messages saying, Phew, I don't know how you put up with Jamie. And I thought... Producer Jack did phone me up afterwards, very rightly, and said, look, I'm just really worried that we've upset Sophie. 
And oh. I said, and I said, don't worry, she has no heart. It'll be fine. It's all fake. She's actually a robot that I bought. <laughs> you bought? You power. Well, guys, I know that it was quite tumultuous last week. So, Have you ever used that word before? Have you no. just used <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 It's going to be in the podcast, so I'm going for the big one. Okay. Um, I've got you both a present. Have you actually? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like a peace offering. So oh, my God, one. Jack. I was originally just going to get Sophie one, but I need to get jealous. Oh, my oh God, Jack. Jack. So, Producer Jack has just handed us a present. Producer Jack, that's so pretty. Yeah, Did you decorate it? Mine's blue. Sophie's, Sophie's is green with a flower on it, so you've added extra. Uh, um, I'll open mine first. Oh. Okay. Uh, mine is uh, my pet poo. <laughs> mine is, hi, how do you do do? It says on the back. <laughs> Producer Jack has just got me a fluffy poo. For the you podcast. do tend to the tend the loo, so now you can tend your poo. So what have you got? Let's open yours. What have I got from Producer Jack? I've got <laughs> the breakup survival kit. Oh a dime bar. Delicious. Might eat it now. Uh, oh, sorry. Delicious. The best drug <laughs> ever. A bow to make your day bright and colourful. A pin so you always get the point. And a string to bind you together, a star so you can shine brightly, a candle to light up a romantic room, a penny so you never forget your worth, a tea bag to help you relax, and finally a chocolate to keep life sweet and remind you that someone cares. Uh, on that note, honey, we should probably begin the episode. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Should we begin it? We're beginning. I love you. Love you. So first up, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I like it. I, know, I like the way we're Jamie, really... what are we talking about? <laughs> What's past? <laughs> we can't eat the point in the podcast. You can talk about anything, yeah? Whisper. Weddings. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with that. Okay, guys. So this week. This is honestly genius. This week, we're going to scale it back. We're going to go back in time. We're going <laughs> to. <laughs> what do you mean? We're going back in time. We've discussed it before. We said we would come to you with an answer. That's true. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have one. We have, we have an answer. So last week we we spoke about what our entrance music was going to be. Yeah. When we, not not our first song. Not when we leave the having been married. When we walk into the tent and everyone gets up and swings the napkins and stands up. Honestly, if people don't swing a napkin at our wedding, you're not invited. You have to leave because that's going to be the best part. And I know that. Um, We've chosen our one, but I honestly just thought this would just be an absolute winner. Imagine this when we walk in. Imagine that. And then we just hold it, okay? And then we, we walk in. <laughs> and we're walking, we're walking in. Imagine that. <laughs> so imagine you're one of the guests. <laughs> what reaction? What reaction? Also, the lyrics, you don't know how you met me and you don't, don't know why. <laughs> You don't know how you met me, you don't. Isn't that song also like people say, like, come on me, you can come all night? That is a song. No, come and follow me, everything is going to be no, all but right. People say it, they've dropped the words, and you're like, come on me, you I can just, come all night. <laughs> so everyone would start singing those songs, and Granny Scotland again would be like, what? I just like the idea that we we're picking our song and we're coming in all guns blazing. Yeah, we just be married and no one's getting up. And we literally look at everyone. Get up, please, <laughs> please get up, please, please fucking, get up. Get, fucking get up. Get up. I'll just be pulling them as I walk past. <laughs> I'll be holding napkins in both hands and swinging. <laughs> Also, please, like, everyone, get fucking up. Also, like, what do we do? Just walk back around, going. <laughs> Like, no, I'll be going, get the fuck up. <laughs> but also, what happens if... I'll take it way too what far. <laughs> what the hell's no one getting up? What happens if the song's so slow and we just, like, have lapped around and then everyone's just like, follow me in. <laughs> We're not <laughs> come and do. You want to come in on a scooter or something? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, we could come on on animals. What animals would you want to come in on? Elephants. Sorry, you think we're going to go and find some elephants and get them and come? Zebras? What's going on? When have you seen anyone ride a zebra? Don't know, that's the point. Different. <laughs> oh Live on God. the edge. <laughs> so you think that we will come in on riding zebras? Ponies and stick a unicorn on it, so it looks like we're in an enchanted... We did kind of want to do an enchanted theme to it, didn't we? <laughs> you can't say... Get, get a put horse that... and stick a horn on it. So yeah, and put, make that mane silver. 
magical and mystical and everyone will be like, whoa. Have you, you can get a sex toy, which comes, <laughs> you, you, get a, you get a stick on horn and then you get a butt plug, which has a horse's tail. <laughs> so you can become a unicorn. <laughs> oh, I'm really, really worried that you've been sent that. Um, We've chosen our song. Okay, we you promised, ready? We promised everyone we would choose our song for this episode. So we have chosen our song. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready for it, honey. We had lots of suggestions sent by loads and loads of different people, which was a uh, Toto, um, Africa, and I'm run away from you. That was great. We had uh, a Cinderella story from um, P. Seller. We had Chelsea Dagger for Tellies. For Tellies. We had Fat Boy Slim Praise You from someone called Sophie. I want to praise you like I oh, should. Oh, I like that. Please. But, um, but, um. Sign sealed, delivered, I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> is that the song? My throat is sore today. That's why, okay, so, so that's why it sounds so that's our first entrance song when we walk in. Yeah. Sign sealed, delivered, <laughs> I'm yours. So, so this is what it's going to sound like. How fantastic is that? So good. Now, please what, get up. Please, everyone, get everyone up. Everyone who's listening and going to our wedding, if you don't get up <laughs> and wave those napkins like you've never waved one before, set down the cameras. Like, you're out. Can I tell you something that's really scary to everyone that happened to me this week? I, I thought I was dying this week. Oh. I don't know what happened, but I woke up in the middle of the night around four o'clock in the morning uh, on Monday morning, and my whole le left leg was dead. It, was it happens. It was completely dead. I, I honestly couldn't feel anything with yeah, it. Yeah, we know what a dead leg is. Yeah, well, I, I couldn't. It felt, it was so dead. Yeah, that's a dead leg. Okay, I know. But it was like really, really dead. That's what dead legs are. <laughs> okay, I know. But I, I, I just want everyone to realise how dead it was. Like it's, He couldn't feel his leg. <laughs> it was a dead leg. I know. We but, get it. I know, but it was really dead. Anyway, I then freaked out and started rubbing it. And it finally came alive again after like five minutes of rubbing it. It was like that dead. And so then... He I, woke me up, by the way, in the night to tell me this. Yeah, I did have to wake you up because I was freaking out. There, you, no sympathy from you ever. Well, I was no... like, you've got a dead leg. Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> and was... don't lie on it. <laughs> How do you not lie on a leg? How do you not lie, lie on a leg? Lie on your back. My leg is still there. What you do... were lying on the side. <laughs> Why do you always talk like you're Billy Elliot at a theatre production? <laughs> Just lie on the side, like you were lying on the side of it. What do you mean? Billy Elliot. It's like you're performing a play. <laughs> it's true though, right? I don't, I'm expressive. I'm sorry that I'm expressive. Anyway, my leg was dead, all right? And I was lying on it. But I, I don't know how that happened. That's rare for a dead leg to happen in that way. Anyway, went on with the next day. I got to the evening the next night and I was lying on the sofa next to you and then my, my whole arm started going dead as well. Guys. It did. My whole other arm started going dead as guys, well. Guys, it didn't. It did. My it whole, was a lie. It wasn't a lie. My whole no, arm... No, what happened was you went, <gasps> my leg feels weird. And I said, what does it feel like? He said, it feels like a dead leg. I was like, well, probably because it was dead for, for hours and now it's just feeling a bit numb still. <laughs> no, it's not normal. It's not normal. I need to go to hospital. Right, that's it. Yes. I'm going to get up and go to hospital. He paced around the room. He called two doctors out of hours. <laughs> His doctors it cost cost five hundred pounds. No, no. Doctor. Firstly, one of them is just the wonderful doctor that we both Doctor do, Valet. Yeah. Doctor Valet, and you know, Doctor Valet very kindly just answered. Don't think he paid her five hundred pounds to <laughs> pick up the phone at eight p.m. on Tuesday night. <laughs> he, Monday, thank you very much. Monday, he then called my mum, FaceTimed her. <laughs> my mum said, "Oh, you've got a dead leg." He said, "No, Sarah, Sarah, it's really not right. It, it's really not okay. I, I'm really worried." <laughs> He then called his... My stepbrother and his wife, who's a doctor. Yes. You, yeah. called, you then called your stepfather. And then they called my stepfather. You step called your mother, Penny. I called my mother as well. Yeah. It was um, really scary. Because, you know, I, I looked on the internet and I Googled it. And I Googled what happens if your leg feels dead for a day. And it said MS. So I thought I had MS. And that was quite scary. 
Yeah, that is very scary. But yeah. I did tell you about a million times you don't. And if you Google, <laughs> never Google anything. So then for four hours, he didn't sit down. <laughs> he walked around the room for four hours. A stupid posh boy who thinks he's dying because he's got a dead leg. Like, what are you doing? He then called an out of hours doctor to come around for 500 pounds and the doctor said i think you've just got a dead lead and he said no i think it's best you come the doctor comes and he asked the doctor i counted on my on my phone 12 times are you sure i am not going to die the doctor was like you're fine you have a dead leg it was stressful all right you went to bed crying over it i was like you yeah we went to bed and so if you so if you just we, we got given this like cbd stuff so so if he just brings over this and start throwing it in my mouth so i'd calm down no the doctor was like do you have a xanax because he needs one i was like please just take it and he was like i can't what if that makes me die in the night i was like oh how am I left with this Well, then, guy? We, then we get into bed and you just roll over and I'm like freak out. I was like, sweet, I'll take the Xanax night. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then you, did, you, did, you did take yeah, half Yeah, I it. took half you it. Did he half gave it Xanax. to you, you didn't take it. I was like, oh, great night's nice sleep for me. <laughs> you took the Xanax and all I heard was Sophie going, can you stroke my bum? <laughs> no, not your bum. <laughs> yeah, you did. Not in, <laughs> not in a creepy sexual way at all. It was just, I think, because maybe I was wearing pants. So my back had a top on and I like <laughs> can you stroke my bum oh uh, that's really creepy and gross ah uh, so okay up next on the podcast oh, okay well you're leading this one so yeah, where know. are we going next so what? next are we doing wedding favors <laughs> that's, that's typically at the end okay when oh, we... next we're going to introduce something our guests <laughs> I think probably a little bit later what okay. do we normally do when we get to this point next up guys mm. We have the greatest part of the podcast and we are so grateful to all of you lovely listeners who write in to us. I honestly, it truly means the world. You sound like a politician. It truly means everything. <laughs> Every day we wake up, we read them, we love them, we laugh. Are you? <laughs> and if you haven't, you know, we love hearing them. So if you want to write in, write in at nearlywordspodcast.co.uk. Dot com. Dot, and write in at nearlywordspodcast.com. <laughs> or... or DM us at Nilly Wears Podcast on Instagram or slide into mine or Jamie's DMs <laughs> or follow us on TikTok and share our TikToks. So all the Gen Z people listen because I hear that's where it's at now. Jamie, we're doing a podcast. Okay. So why don't you enter it? So get ready for listeners. Oh, no, this bit yours. So get ready for... Listeners' messages. No, it's more listeners' messages. Okay, okay, do it again. So get ready for... Listeners' messages. Uh, again, Sophie, I know you get annoyed, but people do send things about poo. No, Half I... of the inbox is about poo. Let me clarify. I don't mind hearing you guys' shit stories. I don't want it talking about me. <laughs> okay. That was good English. <laughs> okay, all right. So we have one from Jess. And she says that she loves the podcast, and every summer my dad's side of the family go on holiday uh, to a seaside town in Suffolk on the coast. On one of the days, my mum and aunties wanted to go shopping and have some peace and quiet, so I left my two uncles and dad to look after the ten children, my siblings and cousins. My sister, who was very young at the time, suddenly shouted at me that she needed a poo and couldn't hold it in. So as a responsible older sister, I told her, it's fine, just poo in the sea, I do it all the time. She didn't believe me and said, will you do it with me? I then proceeded to pretend to do a poo in the sea, making all the right facial expressions, said, I've done it! Now it's your turn. Again, she didn't believe me, and she said, prove it. <laughs> As I was a fair distance from her and nearer the shore, I bent down and picked up a stone that, my, to my delight, was dark brown and longish poo-shaped. I held it in the air and said, see, told you. Please remember that whilst we're going on this, we have eight siblings and cousins swimming around us. My sister then looks relieved. Then I have, in fact, gone for a number two in the sea. So she then starts making all of the right faces to indicating that she is taking a poo. After she announced that she had finished pooing, I then replied saying, I don't believe you, prove it. To which she then picked up her actual <gasps> poo in her hands. How old is she? And held it proudly in the air. She's 14. My cousins and siblings were all crying with laughter, <laughs> shouting that we didn't believe her. So she threw her poo in the air and it split off into lots of little pieces. No, 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 no. <laughs> she threw it into the air. That's E. coli. My brother, who was 16, was so disgusted and repulsed with the flying poo, proceeded to vomit orange sick into the sea. Oh, my God. She, we now nickname her 
sea poo. I pooped in it in my hot tub once with all my cousins in there. People do weird things when we're young. Yeah. I used to like sit on the hot tub. <laughs> well, I didn't know what they were. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Mum used to be like, no, no, Sophie, come away. I'd be like, no, yeah. I'm staying here. Honestly, you're like a protest bolting yourself to it. <laughs> I'm never leaving. I'm never leaving. <laughs> I'm like strap myself to it. Okay, so do you have a listener's message? I do. This is a hen story gone wrong. I know we've had lots about Sticky Vicky, but it's not a Sticky Vicky story. This is more a scene out of a movie. Okay, so I have got one from Sophie Five. Sophie Five. Sophie Five. Sophie Five. Sophie Five. Sophie Five. Here we go. Okay. Quick st story from my sister's hen party weekend where I was the bridesmaid and planned the whole weekend. On the second night, we were in a crazy karaoke venue with a dressing up room, face painters and entertainment. My sister and I were up on the karaoke singing when she kindly passed me the karaoke mic. Boom. She knocked my tooth out. Oh my God. I ran to the bathroom <laughs> immediately. And yes, I was right. It was in fact my tooth clean out and on my tongue. <gasps> oh my God. I don't know what. Have you ever I, done that? Have you ever chipped no, your tooth? No, yeah, oh. I chipped my tooth. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Someone once banged me, one of my sister's friends when I was younger, she like shoved me up against the loo in Pizza Express when I was younger and I chipped my tooth and I just got bullied probably. <laughs> right. Anyway, back to say five. <laughs> the front, it would be the front tooth. Imagine that happened to you. Imagine if that I'd happened to you. straight on the plane getting dinners. We have a, another listener's message. This is a voice message. I haven't heard this yet. Uh, this is from Grace, who sent this on Instagram. Hello. I love your podcast. I listen all the time and I love that there is so many stories about poo that I thought I would ring and tell you one that my friend told me when we were younger and it still cracks me up and we still laugh about it all the time. A friend of mine had the guy she was dating come and stay at her parents' house but her dad was quite strict and put the boy in another room and locked him in so that he couldn't creep out down the corridor to, uh, to his girlfriends in the middle of the night. So this boy wakes up in the middle of the night and like, oh, I really need a poo. But he can't get out to the bathroom because he's locked in this room. So he realises that he doesn't know what to do, he can't hold it. He decided, okay, what can I do? I'm going to poo in my sock and then I'll see if I can throw it out the window. And then he opened this window and he's like, I think I can throw this sock out the window but I can't let it land in their garden, so I have to get it over the fence into the next one neighbor's garden. So he's swinging this sock around, and he throws it out the window, and it goes over the fence. He's like, oh, I've done it. Thank God. Everything's fine now. I'm going to be great. Goes back to sleep. Then in the morning, the girlfriend, my friend, goes and opens the door to the bedroom, and with her dad, and they're like, morning. And then they walk in, they're like, what the hell happened in here? And he was like, nothing, nothing, I've just been asleep. And then he looks around the room, and there's just shit splattered <gasps> all over the room, all <laughs> over the walls, where he'd swung this sock <gasps> full of poo around. Oh, my gosh. And the poo had just come through the holes in the sock and splashed all over the wall. She was <laughs> Obviously, he shat God. all over her, her walls. Imagine. He swung a, a, a poo sock. He swung his shit around like it was a a slingy. Wait, well, how did he wipe his bum? I'm so many questions, and I'm so confused. Why? What? Imagine, imagine the excitement when you throw it and it goes over the fence. Yes, and then you wake up in the morning, the lights go on, and shit is everywhere. <laughs> the excitement, I think. Like. Shit is your emotions almost is like heart attack central. So much excitement, such. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've come to the time of the week where we do. It's that time again, guys. We're at that time. <laughs> to repeat it. What, why, <laughs> what does repeating it do? It is now time for... Propose the pod. There we go. We've got a lovely one from Zoe Alexandra. I thought I'd share a cute story, which I'm sure Sophie will love. Lovely. I'm also hoping will count as my propose the pod. Me and my boyfriend have just bought our first puppy together, a little mini Dachshund. Hello. Uh, hello. Shout out mini Dachshunds. We're getting one. Have we announced that we're getting a, a mini Dachshund? 20th of December, guys. I literally count down the days. It's all I think about. Okay, we're going to announce the name and all that kind of stuff on next Oh, episode. boy, am I excited. Okay. Um, 
Her name is Bo, and she's only eight weeks old. Oh my God, I'm such an angel. If you ever want us to look after her, just shout. So if you, we're not going to look after strangers' dogs. We did that once, and it was weird. I didn't think it was weird. <laughs> it was so weird. Some person turned up at a house with a, a random dog. A we, puppy, and I loved it. And we had to look after this stranger's dog. She wasn't a stranger. I now talk to Lowe's and check on them. The Do you puppy. really? Yeah. Where did you meet this person? On the street. <laughs> <laughs> Some stranger yeah, yeah, yeah. came on into our house with their puppy dog and So left what happened it. was I bumped into her on the street. I said, Oh my god, your dog a minute dashed. She then messaged me on Instagram, DM me and said, Met you earlier. And I said, Do you ever want me to look after your dog? And she said, Oh yeah. So the next day had a little puppy all day. It was wonderful. Anyway, carrying on from their story. However, at night, so <laughs> they've got a, a mini random story. They've got a mini dash and her name is Bo. She's only eight weeks old and she's an angel. <laughs> However, don't get put off. At night, she wakes up crying and whining, totally normal as she's just setting, settling in. I heard that playing music or voices could calm Poppy down. So I proposed little Bo the pod and played it for her. Oh, and she my went God. straight to sleep. Now she's hoped she won't fall asleep without it. Thought you might find that amusing. Anyway, congratulations. Oh, I love that. <gasps> We've got a video. Oh my god, she's so. I love the proposal pod. Typically, it's meant to be to humans. I don't know how the dog is going to help that, but that's great. I loved it. I love the fact that it falls asleep to our podcast. I think that Bo could tell all her other doggy friends. And what are they going to do? Go and get, download like what the, the Apple Store of Spotify? You don't know what dogs do when we sleep. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen, that's the end of propose the pod. Well, and this is messages. <laughs> I clapped. Why did you clap? Because uh, we're rolling. Clap. Okay, that's well, what you have to do okay we've been rolling this whole episode yeah i know but we just had another little roll okay. clap all right clap it you clap it honey ladies and gentlemen I, what are we doing right now Le i'm introducing the next guest oh oh sorry Roy. yeah this is my, my time ladies and gentlemen podcast listeners before we kick nearly this off, wed audience before, what now before we kick it off I think I know who you're about to introduce. Yeah, guess. shall I do it then? Is he the? Uh, Can I do it? Is he what the internet call a dilf? <laughs> and and by dilf, dad. <laughs> I, oh, I'm going to say it. By dilf, I mean dad. Did you just go to go daddy? No, I didn't say daddy. You wanted to go what is, daddy. What does dilf stand for? I'm not saying it. That's revolting. Dilf. No, you absolute wrong boy. <laughs> dilf. Your dad, mom's I... a milf. There. <laughs> Say that. Okay, my mum's a MILF. What's Penny? Say it out loud. What does MILF stand for? Mama, I like to. What? I don't know. I Go don't say it. Naughty, <laughs> naughty boy. He's a naughty, naughty lad. <laughs> In the dog house for you. In the DILF house for me. Oh, you absolutely... Do you think you're going to be a DILF? 100% I'll be a DILF. I will be a DILF. You'll just have to get another hair transplant. It's all right. I'm joking. I'm joking. Shots fired. Today. We all love the new hair. We love it. The natural colour. In fact, someone messaged me the other day saying how much they love the podcast. And at the end of it, she said, I really fancy fiancé, but that's just between us. And I was like, oh, you and me have a great secret then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, hang on. So your dad's a dilfo. Okay, back to more important things. Six you've now four. You've now ruined my I, introduction. I, I think by saying Dilf, they knew what we were talking about. Yes, but it not was meant a, to be me. It's not a dog I like to have sex we with. Were meant, it was meant to be me introducing okay, sorry. him. Sorry, okay, go. Ignore Jamie. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite a val very valuable person in my life. A very valuable. <laughs> a very... Do you want to shut up and let me talk? You can't <laughs> give anyone the line like you have to soak it all in yourself. It like gobble, you... gobble, gobble. <laughs> give me the chatty time. No. Sorry. It sounded like you were drunk and you were doing a speech. I don't. I have a block nose all the time. I don't know why it's really upsetting. So always... You're banging the mic. There it is. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. You're my best friend. Don't you're even... my best friend. You're not mine. <laughs> you're an attention seeker and you talk over me all the time. I've had it up to here with it. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... Patrick Abu. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, it's very loud in the mic, but yeah, it's all right. You speak then. It's, it's, it's my future father in law. He's the great. Why are you whispering? I don't know, just because I'm. I'm you have to do your own instruction. Okay, then. Oh, God, I'm fed up with that. Uh, Patrick, um, I'm very. Jamie. I, I'm very excited that you're on the podcast for many reasons, but one of the biggest reasons, I think, is that I feel like you might break the internet again. <laughs> when um, no, when we no, no, we're not having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I just I feel that's going to happen. Um, are you excited to finally be on the podcast? I am. I'm really excited, and I, I find the whole thing 
a complete new world. So to have an insight in what you do and how you do it is, is, is genuinely, and to meet all you guys is really, really interesting. Do you think, because this, it's, it's hard work podcasting, boy, it's hard. It is, it's a real, it's a real, it's a real, it's a real tough job. Do you now see how, this is why I'm stressed. I, I'm just full of respect and admiration <laughs> yeah, that's, for that's the I sweat thought. and tears that you're having to put into this. <laughs> this is what I have to do all the time. You uh, are so stressed about it though. God, I mean, I'm like, not that stressed joking. about it. Sometimes, I don't know if you listened to last episode, um, Sophie got upset and walked off the podcast. Did you listen to that one? I was really disappointed in you, Jamie, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dad. I nearly didn't. Answer. I thought well, I'm going to cancel the whole thing after that. <laughs> Second time I've seen you make uh, Sophie cry, actually. Where's Wait, the where, where's the first? <laughs> first time, really, we met, we went um, skiing. And I always have a rule that after lunch, you just get the lift down because it's sensible. Mm -hmm. Jamie, no, let's ski down. Sophie, oh, God, I'll ski down as well then. <laughs> I get encouraged to ski down. I really didn't want to. And you, Jamie, obviously decided to show everybody how good you were at skiing. I wasn't showing off. And Sophie's <laughs> spread eagled across across <laughs> the slope and crying. And George is saying, don't worry, you'll be okay. And and Jamie's saying, oh, my God, I've, I, I've made Sophie cry in front of, in front of her father for the first time I met him. <laughs> I was honestly, I can't. So maybe you have this thing sometimes where you don't realize that I was trying to impress a little bit, right? I was trying to impress, and I was just skiing nicely down, and I skied in front of you. No, he was doing this. Literally went over my skis, and then I toppled over, and I thought I broke my arm, and you were like, "No, you haven't," and I don't think I could ski the next day. Patrick, you described Sophie very well to me. What she said, she's like a Catherine wheel. The fart goes like that, yeah. and then and then it's over and done with, and it's okay. Yeah. Is she yeah. always been like that? Yes, always. Yes. So you're a contradiction in so many ways because you're on one level completely. You can meet you and think, God, this girl's all over the place, completely disorganized. <laughs> Perfect. But actually, she's super organized and super focused in so many ways. Um, I remember we were coming up to. Oh, your, come on, no, Dan. Yeah, no, 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 no. Your, I, I love these stories. Your the 17th best. birthday, when you can get your driving test. Sophie, Sophie's birthday is October. Mm. I'm going to have my driving license before Christmas. So that's like six weeks. I will have my driving license before Christmas. And she did. Now, how's that going for you, Jamie? Yeah, great. Uh, <laughs> I'm on my uh, nearly 69th booking. No, no he's felt his. Theory, yeah. 69 times. No, no, impossible. No, but I'm not, I'm not failed it 69 times. <laughs> In the times. last two months, you failed it three times. So if you know it, that's unfair. No, I have not. I, I've booked you my theory test. Photos. I've booked my theory test 69 times. I failed it eight. Okay, I, and I'll tell you why, Patrick. All in the last six months on the same question. Okay. Just revise it. Patrick, well, I'll ask you a question. Okay, when it's an icy road, all right, what is the stopping distance? Well, everyone knows that. <laughs> okay, well, what, what well, do you I'm want? not going to make it easy for you. Well, You've got to revise okay. it. That's okay. as simple as that. Okay, I'll, I'll load down. Is it, is it two times the distance? Is it four times the distance? Is six times the distance? Or is it ten times the distance? Two times the difference. You're wrong. Four. Ten. So you both failed. So <laughs> you both failed and caused accidents. <laughs> well, you know the answer. <laughs> and you're on the road. Wrong. And you're both on the road. You're both... A... Can I just say this? Sophie, I, I know she passed the test really quickly, but... And so I don't think you mind me saying this. She's the worst driver I've ever got in the car with. It is, honestly, you get in there and you should have to sign some sort of lease saying that your life is going to be on the line. I did get my license taken off me. Remember? What? So, uh -oh. You know this? No. Yeah, you do. I had to go to court and stand in court. No, no, this is all <laughs> another revelation <laughs> yes, for me. Uh -oh. yes, yes. You do? Well, explain no, it. No, 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 no. I don't know. I just got a letter once. I was at uni and I came home and there was a letter saying, like, we've revoked your licence. For It was, like, for three years, but I got it down to a year, so I just couldn't have a licence. And I'd stand in court and say, I, Sophia Boo, don't swear on an oath that I... I definitely was not <laughs> Well, you weren't there. It. Mum was in the audience. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, you've never told your dad that? No. Do you know I crashed my car into Grandma's tree? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know that's any of them? That's what happened to the Mini. Oh, my God. That's what happened to the Mini. <laughs> that I bought you for your 18th birthday. and No, 18th or 18th, 18th birthday, yeah. And I never saw I never saw it again. You, you made up some story about, oh, the, the, the engine was too big for the insurance, so we had to change it. 
<laughs> Sorry, the excuse. So that was a complete lie, was it? The excuse was the engine was too big for the insurance. Because <laughs> that kind of was true. Because then it was like a five litre engine. I need like a two five litre, litre engine. <laughs> that, that's like a American muscle car. It was a one point one mini or one point three mini. <laughs> Five litre Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Corvette a Stingray or something. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'll get the secrets out now. Uh, Sophie used to tell me these amazing stories uh, of you as a dad. Sophie would always say you were there for the girls without fail. All the time. You used to work in London, come back, and you used to tell these amazing stories of when you used to come back from work. And Sophie would run up to you, you must have the most exhausting day. And you used to come and Sophie would run up to you and you would dance for Sophie on oh, your feet. Yes, yeah, yeah. Every yeah, single time. Really dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had this huge, it was huge, wasn't it, mirror in the hallway. And um, both the girls actually used to stand on my feet and we dance. And I, I really don't know because I don't know. I can't, <laughs> I've got completely two left feet. So I don't know how we managed to dance. But uh, the funniest story you ever told me is when you, you saw Sophie kissing a boy for the first time. Horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened there? Scarred for life. We were in Spain on holiday and yeah. um, we'd been to a party in the opposite uh, urbanisation. Mm. And we came back and as we were walking across, first of all, I saw Georgia <laughs> kissing a boy. Save your sister. And I was like, oh my God, look at that. It's disgusting in public. Oh my God, it's Georgia. So first of all, I'm mortified to see a girl kissing in public in yeah. in our development and realizing it's georgia and now oh that's disgusting I'm, I'm gonna have to stop that then i looked over to the right oh my god there's another couple oh my it's sophie my younger daughter doing it <laughs> why are we so close to each other it's quite oh, yeah good. why were you so close because it was my first half kiss in georgia they just like stopped me and then he just launched on me i was like what's going on here and then I started crying. Then you started crying, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always crying. Common theme. <laughs> Always crying. <laughs> well, then, Patrick, fast forward a few, uh, a few years, um, and then she started going out with an absolute hunk. One of the biggest moments that we had together is when I asked Sophie to be my wife, but I phoned you first. Mm, mm. And I don't know if you can take us through the story, because I think you got a bit emotional. <laughs> I think that's reversing the story. I think you were memory. I think you were crying a lot and you were over the moon excited. You were like, yes, thank God. You um, contacted me and said, oh, are you available for a video call? And I thought, well, that's odd. Never had a video call with Jamie, just the two of us. And I said, yeah, what about? And you said, oh, about Christmas, because we were all supposed to be spending Christmas together. So I thought, okay, fine. And then Tom, George's, my other daughter's boyfriend, called me and said, can I um, have a video call with you? It's just ridiculous. It's a, What's going on? I'm being pranked here for sure. And, um, <laughs> and Tom called me before you, three days before, literally. And yeah. he, I mean, I knew they'd been together 10 years. And so I was kind of expecting. Did you know that was going to happen? Did you know that was a proposal when, when Tom said, I need a video call? Yeah, I just thought, well, that, that's, that's, that's well. likely to be the the reason for the call and and he was very very polite very proper and did it and i was so delighted um because we all love tom to bits uh -huh. and then, then when you i was just thinking well, <laughs> for a nanosecond like, oh, i thought shit. can't jamie can't <laughs> not that be, idiot no, can't be. No, no way i mean <laughs> god i've had a good run this week it can't be all be going off the cliff now can it <laughs> but i thought it can't it can't it's just too much of a coincidence it can't be yeah he must genuinely want to talk about christmas day mm. you delayed the call by an hour yeah, I that's did. right. Do you know why I did it? I was so nervous. I can't, I, just to quickly tell you this. I don't know if it's like one of these things when you're asking the, your potential future and father-in-law for your, their daughter's hand in marriage. It's, it's like you, you don't really realise how intense it is until the actual moment comes. And when the moment was coming, I was like, oh my God, this is actually happening. This is actually, so I had to delay it. I was like, oh, and actually... So what I, did you do in that I hour? just <laughs> paced around the room. <laughs> So it's one o'clock and then it's going to be two o'clock and I was hungry. So I went to a restaurant. <laughs> I was in Spain. I went to a restaurant, ordered some tapas and a glass of wine and you came on the phone. He went, oh my God, where are you? I said, I'm in a restaurant. I said, Why? If we're just having a conversation. No, no, this is really much more serious. <laughs> I've got something really important I want to ask. Said, What's the matter? And I... <laughs> And I had you on the sort of phone stand, and yeah. just as you were starting blubbing in, in, in crying. 
<laughs> the very, very sweet waiter who always looks after me uh, was standing behind me with a plate and he was watching as well. <laughs> Everyone was watching. <laughs> And he, he put my plate down and didn't leave by his hand. He was just watching. And I said, what's the matter? Is everything all right? I said, no, it's really serious. I want to, I want to, I love your daughter. I want to ask her for her hand in marriage. And I said, is this, oh, a, prank? this is a prank, isn't it? This is definitely <laughs> yeah. a prank. And that's when you started getting really blubbing. So no, I'm serious. And the waiter, stop. I think the waiter <laughs> thought that uh, Patrick was breaking up with me over, over a video call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a really sweet boy, but I've never had so much attention ever since that moment because he just thinks, oh, there's a sugar daddy here with this little pretty blonde boy in London that he's just split up with. You, you suddenly started to realise what was going on and I saw your high shift and I think you thought, oh, shit, in your head, this is actually happening. Yeah. Because I said to you, I said to Patrick at the beginning, I said, um, I said, oh, have I caught you at a bad time? And he went, no, this is perfect, as he was sipping his wine. I yeah. was like, oh, God, it's like a whole audience. And so then I started to get emotional. It's intense. I, you, you, you don't understand until you walk down the aisle or something, like, you don't realise how that sort of, that like intense emotion like hits you. When we, when we got, when I proposed to you, that, that was like an intense moment, but I think it's just so overwhelming and so much. Yeah, it is. No, right. What were you like when it happened? Were you like, this is strange to... And then you had to keep it secret from all oh, of us. Honestly, I will never... If MI6 are listening, I just don't bother recruiting me because holding two secrets for nearly a month... And I did actually... The only person I told was Tom. So <gasps> Yeah, yeah, I think... Me, the whole yeah, I, I had think a Tom courtesy, didn't know that. Because Tom had asked first, so I had a courtesy. I said, look, Tom, you, this is completely between you and I, but Jamie's also going to ask Sophie. So I just think you ought to you ought to know so you can plan around what you to do. It. Yeah. Oh my god, Tom knew Tom. But he was knew. so he just said, I'm I'm so, so happy. And but, but I found out from Sophie, you know she found rings. So you were just well, waiting. Sorry, who just leaves rings like that? If you leave who diamonds around snooping? a girl. Uh, we share the cupboard. It's not in your safe. It's a p communal cupboard with all of our electronics in. When have you ever gone to that cupboard? To get a charger. Bing! <laughs> and then look into a something else? I saw an um, envelope and it said, for Georgia, for her sister. And I was like, whose sister's this? What is going on here? <laughs> Open the thing. It's four in the morning before I was going to Wilderness to film. And I was like whoa, loads of diamonds in here. Tried them all on for size. <laughs> <laughs> Before in the morning, I was like, oh, and I'm bursting. Told, I think I told Georgia, maybe. I think I sent her some photos and we were like, shit, we don't like any of these rings. No. They were, oh my But they weren't God. anything like the ring, this ring. But it doesn't matter what ring. I would have liked any ring you got me. When you accepted my proposal to you, <laughs> you said something so nice. You said, well, Jamie, I've always felt that you would be part of the family. So, yeah. and that was such a, because I imagine as the future father-in-law, it's quite a hard thing. What do you say? That it's quite a hard thing. To say. And you had that double whammy. Like yeah, but did you say the same thing to Tom? <laughs> Probably. Um, had a script in front of you, didn't I you? Only, you know, just cut and paste. Yeah, you that was just, <laughs> was just easy. You cut and no, paste. No, because you know, like last night, we were all out, the five of us, mm. for dinner. And I said, you, the dynamic between you guys, as a father, it's just so heartwarming to see the four of you you're like a, you are a unit in, in your own right. So yeah. it's just, and the chemistry, some, you just know with chemistry is chemistry. And as soon as, as soon as I met you, as soon as I saw you two together, I could see this, like this incredible bond and chemistry. Ah. And, and, you know, there's a definite yin, yin and yang going on then. It's the same with Tom and Georgia. So you just feel it straight that. away. There's, um, I think it's a sort of innate understanding that yeah this is a really good match and that's you, all you want as a father of a daughter you, you just hear want that, a great match we're a complete match what do you think the secret to uh lovers and marriage and all those kind of things with your experience so you've got to be a team yeah. so and you've got to be a balanced team so yeah. someone will be good at one things and someone will be good at other things but you've got to share the load and you've also really got to be open with each other i think um your mother and I did not argue, and whilst that sounds idyllic in many ways, it's not because it, it's a stuff that you're yeah. you're not going to be in agreement on everything. But if you're not discussing it or or letting it come out in the open, it's just going to get stored in a sort of little area that's of minuscule resentment that you can build, so up build up and build up and build up. My my parents, my mum and dad, never argued. 
They never argued. Mum says they never argued. It's and not they healthy. Divorced. It's yeah. not healthy. So the fact that we occasionally have an argument. Wow, I might storm off the podcast more often. But we do. You, you, you definitely have a fiery personality. If you're, if you're in, a, in a great way, you do. And if you're annoyed by something, you say it. Yeah, you kind of bottle things up. I let them faster and then he makes little digs. I'm more just what? straightforward. That is such a lie. Yeah. I, I do little digs. Give an example. Like, yeah, I'm okay. Like just moody a- atmosphere. That is such... Moody aura about you. I'm just like, stop being a crybaby. No ways. I don't have any moody. But I agree with you. I think having those arguments and letting it out is a really mm. good thing. What else would you say it is? Um... Well, on that point, I don't think you need to worry at all with Sophie in the marriage because there's certainly got to be no bottling up with with her. There's around. nothing. There's no bottling up. No. With and like I said to you, you know, before, because I think we we were just coming back from doing something you and I, and we were a little bit later than we planned to be, and Sophie was on the phone. Like, Paddle, I remember it very well. You left me late for dinner, and I was at my, on my own. <laughs> oh my god, yes, we, we were. Yes, we didn't was, leave you. But this is classic. It you was were half no. An hour you, late. you you go you go enjoy some time with 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 dad. That's fine. Don't worry about me. I'll just chill out and relax. And then I was on the phone. The voice, where are you? I'm, and then next one, I'm on my own. Are you ruining my day? <laughs> this is an insanity. <laughs> And it's a strange paddle with you. Yeah, she yeah. told you just to go and enjoy yourself <laughs> yeah, and she relaxed. Yeah, but not to have like four beers afterwards or whatever. We didn't. we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. You played one too many matches. Oh my God. Was... So this is, this, is, this is exactly. And then of course we got the, and I was saying just with Sophie, you are like a Catherine Wheel firework because you're a very expressive person. So when you're angry, you've, it's got to come out. And the same, you're very, if you ever get Sophie on the defensive, Mm. Her mode of um, modus operandi attack. attack, attack, attack. Perfect. Attack. Yeah. Have you not heard what Sophie said to me the other day when we had an argument? She, I, I said this well. She looked at me and said, "You're going to die alone." <laughs> she said that to me. Patrick, she said, "Can I apologise to... on her behalf? I'm embarrassed by her." <laughs> she said, "I'm going to die alone." And then the other day, she said, "Well, your your go to is well, we're going to break up. That's it. That's your go to every single time." Yeah. And I realise now, but it takes time. That you do, you just have to let Sophie... God, it sounds like you just let me get away with everything. Well, I think I do, because it's quite hard to... Because if you... <laughs> no, if you fight fire with fire, <laughs> you're only going to create more. more about the wedding. Yeah. No, but if you do, if you fight fire with fire, it's only going to become more. And also, what I will say is I you... I say you're the easiest. You calm down <laughs> very quickly, whereas I, I'm probably more like you. It's, I'll hold, hold that. Yeah, I'm hold like, it. I'm really upset. I'm oh, really annoyed God, about that. Oh, God, I know. That. It's and tiring. Just get over it. Yeah, but... You I hold don't it. Flare up like you do, and he then holds it for days. Yeah, me too. Sophie fell in love with me. I think it was first. Think. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what happened uh, on a TV show, Main Chelsea. Did you ever? Did you ever watch that? Of course, we watched it. <laughs> oh my god! But I, well, I actually pretty much stopped watching it when Sophie joined the show. Did you really? Yeah. Because really, you were just like, I can't do it. I watched one or two episodes. So I thought, no, no, I just can't. I just, I just can't do this. <laughs> really? Yeah, and people would be telling me, saying, oh, God, did you see Sophie? I mean, God, did you see that? And do you see I said, no, and I don't want to know. I don't want Oh, anything. my God. Because that must be quite a strange thing, especially to see your daughter. Because we we sort of fell in love on this show, and then it, everyone was watching it and all these different things. It's quite a weird story, because normally that happens very privately, but it wasn't privately. Pete, friends were texting and saying, oh, you know, have you met Jamie? Do you like Jamie? I said, no, I've never met him before. I don't know if I like him or not. I don't think. But, <laughs> 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 but, it must, yeah. but that is, you know, the thing when I put up, I put up a video of you and I the other day of when we first ever went on a date, when I asked you on a date. And that's amazing that we captured all mm. of that. Yeah, the highs and the lows. But I think that's More amazing. Lows than highs, I think yeah. that's amazing. And then, and I suppose the biggest thing is, is that, you know, now the wedding is coming up, we have to write two speeches. I know. <laughs> yeah, have two. you written either of them? No. I've actually got a theory that I won't write either, that I just... Oh, my God. ...will... I don't believe it. I really do think... I really do think that... But you'll use the same... If you end up... No, not the same speech, But obviously. you'll use... Because you might get nervous and then you'll say what you said in mine at George's and then I'll get annoyed. Because George's is two months later than me. It will just <laughs> slip out. Well, it won't matter then to you because you'll say, oh, God, he's just repeating this. No, I well, won't. Well, George will be there. Like- no, it's very different. It's very different. You you are very different to Georgia. Yeah. Georgia and Tom's relationship is, is very different to you know, your relationship. I think at your wedding in particular, there's, I'm going to make it quite 
short um, and sweet. A lot about me, probably. Why well, short and sweet at my wedding and long and soppy at George's? Because I'm pretty sure there'll be plenty of people coming after me that won't be short and sweet. <laughs> Not that I'm naming anybody, Jamie. But, uh, no, he has said this multiple times. He's like, mine has to be really short because Jamie's is going to be really Mine is not going to be long. It's not going to be long. It's oh, come gonna... on. Once, you, once oh, you've got that audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Patrick, can you give us a little bit of a flavour of what you think you're going to say in the speech? Something, maybe a little something about how great I am or how... Don't give too much. Just way. something, just something. <laughs> what, is, there any, is there anything that you think you're going to touch on? I think I'm going to touch on how genuinely happy... As a father of uh, two daughters, you know, you really have a lot of concern and worries about who they're future partner's going to be. And I am genuinely, I'll say this now, and I will repeat it again, genuinely so happy that you two have met and that you are going to be spending the rest of your lives and building your, you know, this is your adventure now. It's, it's, it's past the baton over uh, to, to you guys. And um, also, can't tell you how relieved I am that the pressure of <laughs> Sophie off me onto you is just amazing. So there's going to be a lot of gratitude and thanks to you. Jo Georgia Habu did say that she was like, oh, I was worried Sophie wouldn't find someone. <laughs> and she's like, I'm so happy she has. She said that to me. I think your family probably feel the same about I'm me sure they you. do. My mum has demanded that she sit next to you. Well, I'm, 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 I wouldn't sit next to anybody else. <laughs> it's demanded. And then she also said, she also said, if Jonathan, my stepfather, ever dies, um... Do you think? Do you think it'd be strange if Patrick and I ever dated? <laughs> <laughs> I was Penny, like... <laughs> Penny, it would be an honour, and uh, I wouldn't be worthy. I can, I can tell you. Uh, Patrick, listen, I want to say a big thank you for coming on the podcast. Um, Dad. Yeah, you're as as uh, future fathers-in-laws go. You're you're up there with the best. Um, How many have you had before? Uh, I've had about <laughs> three, I think, before. Um, but you truly are. And I cannot wait to marry your daughter. I'm so happy that you actually accepted my request. Um, and I promise that uh, I will make Sophie the happiest. It's a play. Perfect. Hold on one second. This is my ending speech. You had to say something, Sophie. No, I'm very happy. You're thanks. just sitting there just enjoying it. I am it. just sitting here and taking a back seat today, enjoying the... Is that what you're doing? Okay, here we go. And uh, I will do my very best to make your daughter the happiest person in the world forever and um and <laughs> well and there we go <laughs> and uh, okay well why don't you wrap it up then sophie ladies and gentlemen thank you patrick kabu dad love you <laughs> patrick thank you thank so much you for, for having on the me. podcast I really thank you it's been it. great fun Woohoo! Mm. oh what do you think jamie <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Can I, oh, that was a nice. I can't segment. believe I can't believe you've never told your dad that you crashed a mini and had to go to court. I'm sure I would have at the time. Although no, because he would have told me off at the time. I probably still lived with him at the time. I did. You didn't tell him that you crashed the guy. He thought you had sold it or something. Yeah, I told him I sold it and I did it all by myself. I didn't. My mum's boyfriend at the time sold it for me. No, it got written off. The car got written off. I completely caved the whole thing in. Well, that's the way explain what happened. What did you... So I'll explain it. Please don't, if you're listening at home or new driving, new driving. <laughs> if you're an, an early driver, you know, a kid. <laughs> or Jamie, 34 <laughs> and an early driver. <laughs> what you Look, if you're a beginner, if you're a beginner. Look, if you just driving in general, perhaps don't do this. I had two Jack Russells and I had just got back off holiday and my mum said, please, can you go? My grandma was looking after them. My, my mum said, please go to grandma's house and pick up the dogs. So off I trot in the mini and my grandma had a really long drive and it had it was lined with trees. They see the sheep and they both jumped on my face. I'm not even joking. They were like clawing at my face to get these sheep and then I just went, boom, straight into a tree. Okay. Well, there we have it. You spoke to my dad. Do you feel happy? <laughs> yeah, I feel very happy. Thanks, honey. Do you feel accepted into the family? I feel accepted in the family. Do you feel like he likes you? I feel like he likes Does he actually like me? I think so. You think so? Well, he just said he did, didn't he? Well, do, do you think he does? Do you personally think he does? I didn't. I wasn't sure until this very podcast, but oh, now I'm convinced. God. I feel secure in the fact that he likes you. Thanks, honey. That's filled me with, that's filled me with confidence. Great. That's what we wanted. I love you. Love you. Love you. Goodbye. No, 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 we're going to continue the podcast. We're going to continue, but that's the end of that segment. <laughs>
<clears throat> so we have now come to the penultimate, peno, penultimate, uh, penultimate. What do we think it is? Penultimate. Yeah, are you sure? Use it. No, you just give it a go. Say, no, just get, have I'm a fuzzy good. Fuzzy today. Have a good run at it. Go. We've now come to that funny no, part. Say, 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 say that. Say We've that. now come to the penultimate, <laughs> penultimate part of the podcast. Well, we are going to do wed. Are you ready? Yeah. We are going to do. <laughs> Let me do it one more time. We are going to do. Where'd you rather? No, you're meant to whisper it. Oh, okay. We are going to do. Where'd you rather? Yes. Okay. Now, Jamie, yes, where'd so you true. rather this week? The question is. <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm looking at Jack. Okay, I've got it. Would you? Where'd you rather? <laughs> yeah. Stop laughing because you're just distracting me. Would you rather an old elderly relative? We can decide who. Granny Scotland. Oh, would you do Granny Scotland? Falls headfirst into the wedding cake, destroying it. She's got wow. cake all over her face. Okay. Laughing stock of the wedding. Or you lose my or your wedding ring. You would go for our ring being lost. I didn't answer. You didn't give me a chance. You're meant to ask me the question now. <laughs> but yes, I would lose your wedding ring. <laughs> Or I would lose, like, the gold band. Like, who gives a crap about that? But sorry, the thing that, like, identifies our marriage, you would get rid of that. The ring is as identifies the fact that we're married. You're not even getting what... Guys, what I do am. you think about this? Jamie's getting a pinky wedding ring. No, like, I, can I'm, we... I'm getting a Just so you can go out in the town and pretend you're still a single man. It's not going to work, honey. <laughs> I've got eyes everywhere. <laughs> What do you mean? You think I want to go and pretend I'm single? Well, why else are you not getting it on your ring finger? Well, I can do if you want me to. I just think it'll look as good. I like it on, on my pinky finger underneath that ring that I have. Pathetic. <laughs> why is that pathetic? It's a cop out. It's not a cop out. It's a cop out. It's not a cop out. You're married. Fine. Then you get a tattoo on your <laughs> wrist or around your ring if you don't want it saying, I am married. If you want that, okay. So, what well, you you would have your Granny Scotland, yeah, who is how old? Ninety two. You would have ninety three on Monday. You would have ninety three year old wonderful Granny Scotland, ruin her face first, laughing stock of the wedding, feel embarrassed and humiliated into the wedding cake. No one gets wedding cake, and she's got cake in her hair for yeah. days and days and yes. days, and she probably hasn't got anyone. To yes, her rather her than lose our rings. Yes, you selfish, selfish, selfish grandson. You, you, you're you just being ridiculous here. Of course I would do that. Then you're ridiculous. I would definitely lose the ring. Oh, my God. All right. Well, that was pointless. I also think maybe we'll we'll have the dog out there and she could be the ring bearer. So maybe one of the rings will go missing. That's the end of... Where do you rather? Guys, we are now at the time of the podcast where we go on to... Why are you laughing? Because I'm I just, doing it perfectly. I, no, I just... It's uh, smooth. It's coming out naturally. Yeah. Guys... We're at that time of the podcast where we talk about wedding favours. And yeah. because I am hosting this podcast and steering this podcast, I went out of my way to get the greatest guest of all. We've uh -huh. got Georgie here. True. Thank you. Hi. Welcome. Thank Georgie. you. Thanks for having me. This Hi, Georgie. Exciting. The queen Hi. of wedding well, favours. Well, thanks. Georgie, can I ask before we start, do, do you, have you listened to our podcast? I have. Okay. Who's, um, who do you prefer? Well, I... <laughs> Surprise, the wedding is still going on. I know. If I'm honest. But this is our You first... can't say far. Oh my God. Yes, Let, what, she is a bride. Yes. Is... She's not even your fiance. She is a bride. You can't say fart. Brides don't fart. What happens if, because we, we, you're mm. getting married, what happens if your partner said fart to you? What would you do? I would leave him. I would pick up our <laughs> child and I would walk out of the house and I would never return. Because he said And I would fart? delete yeah. his social medias oh my just on the way out. <laughs> so he's got I'm, nothing left. I'm going to delete yours. Why would you delete mine? I'm going to sneak into your Instagram account and I'm going to delete all of it and you'll lose all those followers if you ever say the F word again. You stink a fart. Sorry. That was, honestly, that, that was... That Why was, don't yeah. you spell his name wrong on the invitation? <gasps> Or oh, why don't I just like, skip it out? Well, <laughs> Sophie <laughs> and Green. <laughs> and then on the day I can decide who I want to be yeah, the groom. Yeah, yeah, See who looks good there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Georgie, I would do that. Judy, can you um, explain your, your TikTok account? It's amazing and what you do. Yes. Um, so I am a wedding and planner, wedding and events planner, coordinator, all things weddings, basically. Mm. So 
go, I think this year I will have done about 80 weddings. Wow. wow. Yeah. I've worked quite hard this year. 80 um, weddings. I made a TikTok every single morning. <gasps> I know. Every single morning. Every morning. Oh yeah. so my lord. You are, and I still have tips left, which is great. Well, okay, I'll give you my one number one yeah. tip. So you can watch all of the TikToks in the world. You can listen to podcasts. You can do everything. If you don't personalize your wedding, there is no point doing it. If it is, what gonna, do you mean by that? If I was coming to your wedding, yeah, hint. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would expect to see, like, I don't. Have you heard of the audio guestbook things? So it's like yeah. a telephone, and you pick. Yeah, it up I've and heard it says, of that. Hi, yeah. how are you? Blah blah blah. If you guys haven't set up a little podcast sofa like this for people to record their messages to you, what's the point? <gasps> I know, see? That is a genius idea. I know. You, yeah. What? Why have we not thought of that? Georgie, that I mean, is Georgie, that's, That is insane. You, and see, and I know anybody exactly. else wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. That's the point. We set up a little podcast audio place and we get people to record messages. Hammered that... when they're drunk. Absolutely. So it starts really nice and it's like Nan going, oh, guys, I hope you have the best day ever. And then at the end, it's like... I can't believe you said fart. People will say fart. That is here. so yeah, that's good. You can have that for free. Here you go. Set that up. Little little sign. You could then put a cross through it and put newlyweds because you'd be married at that point. <gasps> You're hired. Mind <laughs> is absolutely blown. No, I know exactly where that can go as well. I know exactly where that She's actually saying that to me off mic. That's how excited she's <laughs> actually saying to you. She's I'm serious. serious about it. What? That's such a great tip. You have... There's... Basics, the skeleton of a wedding is all the same. You can try and do as much crazy stuff as you want. You can move the food around, blah, blah, blah. You can have as many guests. If you don't make it things that people sit there and go, oh my God, this is so them, then mm. don't. Can do I it. ask what you're doing to make yours personal? Oh, okay, there we yeah. go. You're going to steal um, this, aren't you? So, well, you can't steal it because it won't make sense it, to you. Yeah. That's the beauty <laughs> of, it of it. Of course it will. Um, so I met my partner at TGI Fridays. He was flaring, Delicious. making cocktails. That's amazing. So our entire relationship has been built around cocktails. So the wedding is built around cocktails. So Are they canned cocktails? Sorry. <laughs> yes! Georgie, oh. I love you. What? 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 I just... Canned cocktails, much easier. No. Imagine this, imagine this. Vito. Imagine if this. I draw a candy kitten, is that the same? <laughs> Touche. Okay, there. imagine this. I can't Stop draw me. my... Yeah, you draw that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, imagine this, imagine this. Excuse me, can I please have a mojito? Sure, of course you can. Three minutes later, or yeah. of course you can. <laughs> there you go. With the remnants of metal taste no, and that's vile. no ice. I'm gorgeous. Do you want, I, what's quicker? Yeah, but you or, don't want speed. The whole point like of things in life that are good, quicker huh. is not always better. Well, yeah, take notes. Yeah, take notes, Sophie. Take notes, <laughs> take, <laughs> take, you. Take, and also, you always orgasm quicker. <laughs> Wow. wow. I don't know if you can say the O word either. Yeah, so I right. don't think so. I don't think you can. I, don't, I think you're really treading on eggshells over here. You've got a thin, thin okay. line and you're about to cross it. Yeah. Okay. To answer you, no, if anybody opens a can of cocktail at my wedding, I will kick off. And you've also missed the whole point that Georgie said it was about her fiance yes. flaring. I love yes. that. So, oh, let's Making just... Making drinks. You know. So what is your signature cocktail then you're going to have? Well, so I've got a porn star martini, obviously, because I'm basic bitch. <laughs> and then my partner has a dark and stormy because it looks manlier. But then we're also doing, lovely. when everyone sits down, you know, you have toast drinks. Yes. Yeah. We're sending out boxes where people will make their own toast cocktail and somebody will say how to do it. So each person will get, it's like a champagne cocktail. So that's they'll all amazing. get a little sugar cube, make the cocktail. And then I that's part it. of like the theater of it. Uh, you said that you had a little uh, anagram for us. So my tip is for the morning, mainly the girls, sorry. You just need to remember in the morning to blow me. What is that? I love so that. So if you love her, you'll text her in the morning and say, babe, don't forget to blow me. Just so I'm clear, this Wait, is coming from you. This is coming from I me. wake up in the morning. You text her. I text her and I just say, remember, Sophie, blow me. Blow me. What, well, I give me. him a blowjob? No, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I he literally, wishes. He did so not pay me. Think that's what, and I was like, I'm really thrown off because you just did not. I, so I didn't ease into that nicely. That I messaged you on our wedding day <laughs> for a blowjob. I, I was messaging you saying blow me because you just, it's to make the, me the happy. The whole morning, like, you need on? to remember to blow me. So let me explain better. Right, right. explain it because I'm it's all an over the shop right now. Mm -hmm. So all of them stand for, so... B, these are like proper good tips as well that you're going to have to remember now. Okay. B is for bouquet out of water. Your bouquet will be delivered in, in water. You take it out. You dry it half an hour before the ceremony because you don't want to walk down the aisle with <gasps> wet patches oh on your hoo-ha. Wait, there's more. There's more. Yeah. L is for lady garden. For um, anyone listening on audio, I'm pointing at that area. The vagina. 
you need to hold your bouquet low, lady garden low. Why? Because it looks shit otherwise. Oh, so really? hips, not tits. Pubes, everyone, not boobs. Yeah, I, don't do this. Yeah, you look really like a little, low. like a child then yeah, almost. really low. Lady garden low. So, so basically you want it to look like your lady garden. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. You are holding it there. This is In amazing. a romantic way. Um, o is for one hour. You need to be ready one hour before your ceremony. Do not be putting your dress on 10 minutes before your I'm wedding. I'm literally such a get ready at do, the last minute. Do not categorically do not get ready at the last but minute. what if my makeup starts melting off What if heat? you put your dress on and you start stressing and then you get hot and you get bothered and you get annoyed and you get angry and then you text him saying, I'm not doing it, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Be ready an hour, at least an hour before. But And then just prance about in my dress for Take an hour. photos, do TikToks. Okay. Yeah. That last hour will fly. Like, have a glass of fly. champagne. Have a glass of champagne. Have like, do a first look with people. Just enjoy that little hour. That's okay. amazing. Um, what's my next letter? W, wrists mm. and ankles. Check for hairbands, check for sock <gasps> Oh my so God, this true. is the best piece of advice I've ever hair heard bands, in my life. Hairbands hair are truly the worst. They ruin friends, every photo. Yeah, don't every let your friends photo. let you walk down the aisle with a hairband on your wrist because he might leave you. Yeah. I wouldn't. Oh, uh, yeah. My yeah. mum might cry. Oh yeah. my God, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, M is for move your engagement ring. So your engagement ring needs to be on your other hand. <gasps> yeah. What? <laughs> Georgie, That's the, the TikTok that went viral. Are you, are you an <laughs> angel? Are you an angel? I could well be an angel. You're an people. angel. But your, your your wedding ring, I'm assuming, is going to go under your engagement ring. So I didn't know that. That's then you put it back on top. Yeah. Yes. So you just need to move it in the morning. The earlier, the better, because then you don't get that line for the photos. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that's fantastic. And, and then lastly, what is it? E. e. Energy. And I don't mean eat a banana because that's boring. Like you are the vibe. Yeah. That right. starts from that morning. Whoever's getting ready with you in the morning needs to bring the energy. Yes. The fun starts from that second. My and then you're ready to go down the aisle. I then it doesn't really matter what happens after that. Like. Yeah, I, I just have to be in the best, <laughs> the best That is mood so ever. great. Blow me. Blow I'm me. like really, really. So can we, we just run it through very quickly yes. in our head? So B. Bouquets out of water. L. Lady Garden. O. One hour before the ceremony ready. W. Wrists and ankles. M. Move your engagement ring. E. Energy. You are the fucking vibe. <laughs> you are the fucking boss, Georgie. Oh my God. I absolutely. That was amazing. That. <laughs> Georgie, that is amazing. Proper tips. These are like proper tips. Love for you, honeybee. Oh my God. Invite me back and I'll do a men's version for you. <laughs> Georgie, can we, can we say, can, can you please come back on the podcast and we yes. have another proper big session and a conversation about so much more? 100%. This is the greatest. Georgie, um, thank, you. thank you so much. For that. Listen, go and check out Georgie's TikTok. Thank go and you. check out social media. We're going to leave all the links below. But for them, what is the social uh, handles? Uh, Georgina Rose Events. And then I think I'm the wedding planner on TikTok. I yeah. think I was early enough to get that title. That's really I know. Cool. I know. Oh, my God. Go inundate Georgie with every single message because this is... I think you're, a, you're an angel. I've blown I, your mind. You, yeah. yeah. Sophie, yeah. remember, blow me. Blow me. Blow me. Every day you remind her, blow me. Babe. Blow, blow me, me, Sophie. Don't worry about the wedding. Just blow me. Blow me. All right. Blow me. <laughs> Blow me. Blow me. Georgie, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you, Georgie. Thank you. Have a nice wedding. Oh. So if that's the end of the episode, how did you feel about um Guys, that's the end of the episode. Thank you so much for listening. How did you feel about me hosting? Yeah. Well, maybe they should get it if they want to get in touch with us. If you guys want to get in touch with us, you know where to get us. Nearly Wes Podcast and nearlywestpodcast.com, email and TikTok. <laughs> Can you chat on TikTok? Probably not. <laughs> but follow us anyway. YouTube. We have a YouTube. We app. have a YouTube. Some of the full videos go up there. Some of the full videos. Well, they all the full videos go up there. So, <laughs> Jamie, you know this name? Jamie. Wait, hold on. No, this is what happens when I'm hosting. Okay. So, lastly, before we leave, if you're getting married this weekend, good luck. If you're getting engaged this weekend, good luck as well. And if you're wanting to get engaged, go for it. Yeah. See you on Monday. Bye.